Hello, Power One. Welcome to my channel, Sophie Gift of Love. So we're going to hop right into it, babes. This is going to be what do people want to know about you? What do others want to know about you? Please take a resonate, leave with Desi because everything is not going to resonate with you. If this reading really resonates with you, please like, comment down below, and subscribe to let me know you stopped by. If you are interested in my Patreon reads or something more personal, that is down below in the description box as well as my Patreon. Let's get into this reading, Power One. So what do people want to know about you? What do others want to know about you here? So some of you guys here, this is what others want to know about you here. A lot of you guys, people could feel like you are always choosing work over being around them. So that's what others want to know. How come you're always choosing work instead of hanging out with them? Like every time somebody asks, oh, you want to hang out? Oh, I got to go to work. Or people who want to, how come you don't take days off? Or people are kind of wondering, um, how come you really don't include them? into your lifestyle or things like this here this is what others want to know about you you've got the king of pentacles people can fool you as somebody where you're very financially stable or you're very well off here or you're just very established you come out as very established people could kind of you don't want to be around you they kind of you know want you to step away from your desk your work for a little bit but the sun card reverse here, people could be sad that you're not around it's not as fun that you're not around here um so this is what i'm seeing here people could kind of want you to hold back from like your work and stuff you know where they know you got they know you're established they know you got work and stuff that you have to do but they kind of want you to fit them in your day so this is what others want to know um how come you can't really include them in your day and stuff so that's just for some of you guys here but there could be somebody that feels like this here okay that's what others want to know here um what others want to know here specifically is some of you guys here there could be people that's wondering if somebody that you are dating is only dating you because they need a place to stay or because they're not financially stable here with the devil card reverse here people could view you as they feel like you should um walk away from somebody that they view as toxic they could feel like this person is staying with you or they're dating you for like your resources on uh, your home you know your necessities things that you really worked hard to get and people could kind of feel like you're something toxic that you need to free yourself from with the star card reverse people could kind of feel like you're you're you don't think that you can have more um you don't think that you can have better here so this is just for the ones where this resonate with this is what others want to know they kind of want to know how come you're not freeing yourself from a situation that you're with somebody that is using you for your yeah we got the three of wands here um, that's using here the three of wands here for some of you guys people can even view you as you don't think that there's better to come you don't know you're not looking f you're not looking from things from a different perspective or a brighter perspective here with the page of colors you can have somebody that's very just someone that cherishes you here or some of you guys it's like every time you decide to move forward this person apologizes so this is what they want to know about you they feel like you're in something toxic that you need to release yourself from like this devil card reverse with this star card in verse, they kind of feel you as focusing on the negative that's not going right in your life. And the moment that you do start to believe in yourself or you try to step forward, somebody comes in and apologize to you, then you back into the same cycle here. Um, with, the, with the page of pillars in reverse, with somebody that does not appreciate you, they apologize to you, but, this, but they still don't show you change behavior. And somebody just wants to know, or others want to know, how come you're still sticking with someone? How come you are not leaving this person here? Especially these people feel like this person is using you for your resources, from a home, a place to stay, a car, or whatever you bring to the table financially. They feel like this person is there for that. We got Pisces here, Capricorn, Aries here, Aquarius, Virgo. So this could be the person's signs or the person's sign that they're crying about. But this is what others want to know about you. It's not going to resonate for everyone. It's literally resonating for the ones where this resonate with. Some of you guys here, what others want to know about is a lot of you guys here, you have a lot of good things happening for you. A lot of you guys, you have a lot of blessings coming in and people are wondering, wondering what are you doing? Some people can feel like you're using spell work or deities and stuff like that to bring in some type of wish fulfillment. A lot of good things have been happening for you lately and other people are kind of like, okay, what is Power One doing for all this good stuff to happen? Now, how come Power One is so lucky? Like... Are they doing something that we don't know about? Are they into something that we don't know about here? You got the two of swords. People are confused. A lot of you guys here, you could have got back on your feet very quickly. And people are confused on how you got back on your feet so quick. Some of you guys here, you have a lot of good things happening for you. And people are confused on how come it's happening for you here. How come this is happening for you? 
Um, that's what I'm seeing here. Some of you guys say you could be getting into a partnership or you could be getting married for some of you guys. Or you're meeting somebody that is very marriage material here. And others kind of want to know how did you meet this person? How did you pull somebody? So if y'all are talking to somebody new, older people view this person as marriage material. And they're like, how come power one pulled them? What is it about power one that pulled them? How could they want to commit to power one? That's what I'm seeing here. The others of you, you have people that are wondering, how come you have all this good stuff going in, going on for you? They're confused. You were just in a bad space not too long ago, like a month or two ago. You were just in a bad space. And now you got new stuff going on. Now you looking good here. You got new stuff happening for you. Where did all this come from? I'm confused. You know, why is all this good stuff happening for part one? They were just in a bad place. Y'all got people confused. You know, the Six of Cups, these are people from your past that y'all grew up with. Some of you guys, people are looking at your past for like a couple months ago. No, I'm trying to tell y'all, with the air car here and it's Cups, some of y'all only been like some months for some of y'all and a couple in a couple days for some of y'all. A couple, yeah, been some months and a couple weeks for some of y'all. A month, some a couple months and a couple weeks and y'all done practically bounced back out. So this is what I just want to know about you. People from your past... They feel like literally a couple weeks ago or a couple months ago, you was going through something. Now, all of a sudden, you were in a better place. You were in a better position. Things are working out for you. Things are starting to fall in place for you. And they're like, where is this happening? I'm confused. They were just this. They were just that. They were just stuck. They were just broke. So, this is what others want to know about you. Like, yeah, the Six of Swords here, y'all have changed your life. Y'all have completely changed your life. Y'all changed you're not the same version of yourself as you once were a couple months ago. And people are seeing this. It's like, dang, like, power one has really elevated in a couple months. You really got, I'm hearing the nigga was too stunned to speak. Y'all literally got people stunned to speak. Uh, we got a Libra Aquarius here and Scorpio. A lot of you got people was, didn't even see this coming here. So this is what others want to know about you here. Okay? Some of you guys here, there's somebody that you started talking to somebody for some of you guys. Or you was dating somebody, things never made it off the ground. So you and somebody never made it into like a full-blown relationship y'all never got into like an actual committed relationship even if y'all were in a situation with someone you and this person never made it to a full-on relationship and never made it off the ground this is um uh, other, other people are wondering how come something didn't work out with you and somebody how come y'all never made it off the ground y'all had a lot of chemistry together people are kind of wanting to know what's happened with that other than you guys there's the person that you did make it off the ground with that's wondering who you are and who you talking to now who's in your life now here with this king of swords here this is somebody where they're thinking logical on how they can come towards you here how they can balance things out with you with the hermit card here yeah this person's thinking this person is thinking very hard this person has been doing some type of reflection and we think about you from your past here we got Virgo here, Libra here. We got the Nine of Cups in reverse here. This could be a Pisces here. This is somebody where they have been doing some type of heart reflection and they're not happy with the way that things end up between y'all. Y'all never made it off the ground with this person. They wanted something to develop much more. This person's thinking on logical how they could come back in and how they can um get you to speak to them, get you to communicate with them here with the Ace of Swords because you are not talking. So this could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. Or a Virgo here, a Pisces that y'all dated or talked to. Y'all never been off the ground with this person. They're wondering who you speak it to now. Uh, this person's thinking rational and what they could come back in to get you to be back talking to them. They've really been thinking about you lately. They've been pondering on a mind here. And this is somebody where they're unhappy about how things ended. This person's unhappy because they, you, they view you as something that they really wanted to happen. Something that they really wanted to work with. They wanted something to really develop into something that they never did. And somebody has been doing a lot of thought of that. With the Seven of Cups here, this could be somebody where they are skeptical about you having options. They're all up in their head about all the options that you have. This person is wondering if you're talking to anybody new here. Um, but the Musician card in reverse here, um, th this person could have had options and maybe they didn't know who they wanted or whatever, or whether they wanted to stop talking to them options that they had. And that's what delayed things from manifesting between you two. And that's why things ended up ended between you two and now somebody kind of feel heartbroken because they kind of ruin things and they kind of think about how can i come in what can i say to power one to get power one to think talk to me i've been thinking about them a lot lately i know i was wrong i know it's the reason why things kind of didn't work out how can i get power one back so this is what somebody wants to know about you they know you got other people that you could be talking to they know you hot right now the other people want to talk to you here 
this is what I'm seeing here. So some of you guys here, what others are wanting to know about you here is some of you guys here, there's something that you're advancing in your life or some of you guys are changing something around in your life here and others want to know how that you get the money or finance. So some of you guys, you could be revamping your home, your decor, you could be making something look completely new again. And people are wondering where did you get the resources to do this from. Like the two of cups reverse it. This is somebody that y'all was with. So some of you guys, there is a partner or somebody that y'all dated, that y'all used to be with, they're wondering how, where did you get this money from to change and elevate your life here. But the two of wands reverse here, this is somebody that you disconnected with for some of y'all because this is somebody where they was not on, this is somebody where they weren't showing up the way you were showing up. Showing up. Some of you guys said this could be somebody that was in some type of connection with someone that they were disconnected to. And that's what stopped them from moving forward with you here. And they've seen you revamp your life. They have seen you have completely changed. You're doing things different now. So somebody that y'all once dated that could have had another person that they were dealing with from the past that they could have been stuck on or whatever. So they are looking at you and they have seen you change. They've seen you like did a 180. Some of you guys, your home don't even look the same. Some of y'all done boo. Like somebody's like, ever since somebody stopped talking to you, you know, whatever this path they went down. Some of you guys the person could have chose a past person over you for some of you guys with the two of cups reversed and the two of wands reversed. Like they could have chose a past connection that maybe it did not work out that they kind of still want to work out or hope that it can fix or work. They ended up staying in something like that to give that a chance again. And a lot of you guys, you end up moving on. You have completely changed. I've seen y'all got a new home, new car. Some of you guys, you got a new job now. Is it somebody just seen you completely change your life? A lot of you guys, you look way more attractive. Like if you used to have your hair and nails done, it's like you got your hair done, nails done, everything did, haircut. It's almost like somebody met you in a point in your life where you weren't as established as you are now. And they're seeing the real real version of you like and this may not even be the full version of you it's almost like you get the you know like you get the car you get the money and stuff to get the things that you want the hair extensions that you want now you had the resources to dress how you want you know this is not somebody looking at you somebody felt like ever since somebody can even feel like they chose wrong so, so there could be an aries or a cancer that could feel like they chose wrong when it came to you here um there's something where you changed your life ever since you stopped messing with somebody ever since you moved on for someone uh, somebody's kind of they weren't expecting this here with the high turn reverse this person did not have like any expectations that that this was how you would turn out like somebody's surprised because a lot of you guys you kind of had like a glow up and i'm getting in everywhere your looks the way that you dress your home your car like somebody's kind of like they lost out like y'all elevated i'm hearing that um scissor song you moved on whoever i moved on for the better this person moved on to whoever they moved on to whoever they chose you moved on to better yourself and somebody's seen it said like they like ever since i disconnected from power one they elevated they're not on the same stuff anymore they're not doing the same stuff they're going down a different path you know and the page of news revert this person um wish they would have put effort into you you know the person wish they would have appreciated you when they knew you because you completely have moved on y'all elevated somebody can kind of somebody feel like you're out of their lease so this is what another person thinks about you here um somebody that once had access to you now view as out of the lead now you're like like this person would have to i'm getting like a fanboy or a fangirl this person is almost like everybody else like anybody else that is hyped over you this person is just another hype man kind of was what's coming off here um this is what i'm seeing here so some of you guys here, there's somebody that's jealous of you, that's curious on why everybody likes you here. This somebody were to have an issue with other people coming around and being more important than them. But the Empress of Me card here, the first card that's coming out, this person that's jealous over your beauty here. Man or woman here, you're very attractive. You are that girl, you are that guy, you're very creative. The way that you express yourself, you get so much attention wherever you go here. And another person is defensive towards this. Somebody's defensive towards you and they're jealous towards you because of how you look. The way that you dress here. This person is jealous of this here. They don't like the fact that you get more attention than them. They don't like the fact that people like you here as well. This person does not like the fact that people stick up for you. Like, people stick up for you. People actually defend you when you're not around be or whatever. And this person does not like that. Like, somebody's jealous of that. So, this is what they want to know about you here, what they're curious about when it comes to you here. Um, with the Queen of Pentacles here, this person does not like the fact that you come off as, like, a divine feminine. Like, this is a, this is a woman here and you're a woman this is another feminine energy that's jealous of you because you actually 
are in a position where people can want to do stuff for you. People are defensive towards you. I mean, defensive over you. People don't play about you. Um, people are willing to take care of you. People are willing to go above and beyond to help you out here. Somebody does not like this. Somebody does not like the fact that you seem like you have it all. You seem so balanced here. Like somebody does, you know, you know why somebody's jealous of you? Especially if this is a feminine energy. They're jealous of you because you ask to give off a divine feminine energy. You ask to give off like marriage material. Like people are willing to go above and beyond for you. Help you out. Do things for you. You know, this person does not like this here. It's something I just connected to be in the workplace for some of you guys. Where certain masculine don't mind helping you out. They don't mind doing certain things for you. And this is what triggers this person. With this eight of wands in reverse here for some of you guys. This is somebody where they don't want people to talk to you here. This is somebody where they want to keep from people. They want to keep people from talking to you because of how good you look. So y'all literally have somebody that's just jealous of you because of your looks. How people are willing to go above and beyond for you. Include you in. And because of how people be defensive about you. This is somebody where they're afraid to talk about you around the people. Because they can see other people kind of get defensive when people say stuff about you. So they're like, let me not say nothing. Because everybody else already on their meat. That's what I'm seeing here. So this person can feel like people kiss your A or D ride you. Like, oh, y'all just only saying that about power one because you look, you want to talk to power one or something like this. That's why you're doing that. You you want to be around power one. That's the only reason why you're doing that. You ain't got to do that to be accepted. It's how somebody feel. Or really, they just don't like the fact that people like you here. And the King of Pentacles here. Look at that. We got the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles here. This is somebody where they don't like the fact that you actually, this, you know why this person jealous? This is somebody where they feel like you will be the type of woman that get a man to settle you down, to take care of you, to provide for you. So let me guys, this is somebody that's jealous over the men and women that you date. Like if you're a masculine, you don't just get regular women. You get women that ha that's established, that has a lot going on for themselves, you know, that, that's still feminine as well. This money where they jealous because of the people that you attract. You attract very established people that want to do for you. They want to do for you. And this is why somebody's upset by that. So this is our reading here. Till next time. Bye. Hello. Welcome to my channel. So to get the power to peace, love, and light, beautiful, bigger, and bold to you all. This is what do others want to know about you? What do others want to know about you here? Uh, if this really resonates with you, you are interested in my videos. Please check out my other ones down below. Down below. Please like, comment down below, subscribe, and let me know that you stopped by. Hit that notification bell so you never miss when I post. If you're interested in my Patreon or personal readings for something more personal, that's down below in the description box. Let's get into this reading here. So some of you guys here, there is somebody that wants to know where you're getting this more money from. Others want to know where, where, where are you getting more income from. A lot of you guys, people could tell that you have more money because of the things that you are purchasing, the things that you are buying here. And other people could feel there's some type of illusion with the Nine of Cups in reverse here. Um, people could view you as not, um, you could be, some people could feel like you acting like you're broke and you're really not. You actually have more money. Um, some people could feel like um, you doing something on the side to make money, but it's like an illusion. You act like you don't. So this is what others want to know from you or know about you they want to know how you're making more income they want to know how you are making it they whatever job you work at they feel like that's part of the money that you get but you get it from another source and you're kind of like keeping it hidden so people can kind of feel like there's some type of illusion when it comes to your income they can feel like maybe you're doing something for a strange for a little piece of change on the side for your money here even if you're not people are speculating this they see you with more money they see what type of job you work at. They're like, okay, well, I know you're not getting it from this job. Or I know you're not getting this money from here. So where are you getting this extra money? You know, you seem like you live a whole other lifestyle. You say like you in a whole other tax bracket than everybody in this room. So where are you getting this money from? This is what people see here. But the two of wands are inverse here for some of you guys. People who want to ask you this, but they stop themselves from asking this because they don't kind of want to be all up in your business here as well. Some of you guys are the two of wands are inverse here. Certain people could, um be confused on how come you're not restricted so maybe let's say you make a certain amount of money and another person make a certain amount of money they can't do certain stuff because they don't have the extra expenses for it but you are doing the stuff that they can't do but yet you work at the same place they work at or yet you are around the same people that they're around where are you getting this money to do this if we make the same amount where are you getting this money did you save for this um did you did somebody give you the money? Where is this coming from? This is how people are looking at it. It's like, okay, we I'm here. Two plus two equals four. And five plus five equals ten. What the is this? This is what it's giving. It's like people are trying to 
pocket watch you they're trying to calculate your money here they're trying to figure out where you're getting this extra income from and it's from some type of hard work that you guys do here it's not a cups and reverse here um it's but it's an illusion to other people some people could view you as doing something strange for a piece of change some people feel like they are restricted and they don't have the stuff or the means or expenses to do certain stuff and you work at the same place they work at or you make the same amount or you make about the same they make so they're trying to figure out how you how you doing this and that if, if i don't got the money for it, i know you don't so where are you getting this money from that's what i'm seeing here so this could be a scorpio or aries that feel this way here um uh, but somebody just wants to know where they're getting this extra money from or this income here so we're going to be moving on here but that's what others want to know about you here so some of you guys here there is somebody around you here they want to know if you see right through their bs somebody around you guys make it seem like you're a crybaby they make it seem like you're always in your feelings. They make it seem like you're too sensitive. But this is somebody where they only do that because they don't want to stop doing what they do. This is somebody where they misbehave, they mistreat people, and they want to be able to continue to mistreat people. So somebody around y'all is mistreating you guys here. And they say that you're, oh, you're just sensitive, you're just crying, or you're always in your feelings here. But this is somebody where they don't want to acknowledge the truth that they are somebody that does not handle situations properly they don't know how to talk to people they don't know how to communicate with people they don't know how to take um criticism so this is what i'm seeing here somebody around y'all here this is what um they want to know about you here this is what others want to know about you here but uh, specifically a person they want to know if you can see right through them somebody makes it like you're sensitive and makes it like you're a crybaby and all of that because they don't want to stop doing what they're doing they want to be okay with how they treat you or be okay with what they do here and they want to know if you caught on to them they want to know if let's say let's say you're crying oh you always in your feelings like we can't bring you nowhere they want you to feel like you are always sensitive and they want to make it to where you don't express yourself so they can continue bypassing and doing what they're doing here but the five of pentacles here this is somebody here where they don't they want to make you feel left out on the cold here and the empress rebirth this person could want to make you feel insecure and they don't want to make you feel good about yourself here they don't want you to feel good about yourself but the five of wands here see this is somebody where they cause conflict with whether it's what they say how they say it i mean it's not what you say but how you say it. So this person causes conflict with you or just the things that they say in general and, and they don't it's almost like somebody says something but they don't want to be be put in a crossfire well it's like why would you say it then if you don't want to have any issue you know what i'm saying so this is what i'm seeing here somebody basically wants to know if you catching on to them they just saying that you're sensitive so they can get you to stop expressing your emotions so they can still cause conflict and peace and they want you to feel insecure like your side is not right like man maybe i should toughen up a little bit maybe i should not be so expressive this is what somebody wants here so this is what um another person um this is how they feel about you here um so this is going we're going to be moving on here but this is how others want to know about you here this is what this person want to know about you they want to know if you caught on to them okay so some of you guys here other people want to know if you are still sleeping with your baby's mom or baby dad your child's mother your child's father people want to know if you are still sleeping with this person here why do people want to know we got the five of cups here because somebody's sad so some of you guys here somebody wants to know if you're still sleeping with your child's mother or father here this is gonna be a scorpio here this is somebody where they have not moved on from you here this is somebody where they're sad they're not able to move on because they're still hurt by you so this is what someone wants to know they want to know if you're still messing around with your child's father here or child's mother what's the three cups three birds this could be somebody that's sad because they could feel like you took advantage of them here um this is somebody where they could have felt like they was there for you and you took advantage of them because you went back to some type of child father child mother and reconnected back with them here um this is somebody where um they want to know if that situation is over like is it, is it, is it ending here with the nine of cups and revert this is somebody where they fuck you play the emotional mind games with them this could be scorpio pisces cancer Taurus, capricorn virgo here with the ace of pentacles here some of you guys said this is somebody sad because they was so, so somebody sad because they were trying to offer y'all something long term this ace of pentacles but y'all were still sleeping with somebody that you have kids with you still mess around with somebody that you have kids with and somebody sad because they can't move forward because they wanted to offer you something long term but they felt like you were taking advantage of it you was playing mind games with them with this queen of cups in reverse here this is somebody where they felt like you was using them for resources they could feel like um 
um you would they, they felt it was going above and beyond for you and you was taking advantage of that you were just playing with them all the emotionally so this is how somebody feels here they want to know if you're still sleeping with somebody that you have kids with with the hangman reverse here and the four of swords here this is somebody where they all up in their head and, and they're upset about how it's, they're upset by the fact that they feel like you played with them emotionally here but the four swords here, the person has a lot of anxiety here about starting something new with you here but the but six of wands the person see you online it's you getting a lot of attention you look very well put together here as well um this is what i'm seeing here but the eight of wands reverse it this is somebody where y'all don't speak with each other anymore or this person could put they met you in a bad time like when this person did start messing with you or talking to you you were still dealing with somebody from your past so somebody want to know is you still messing with your child's father or mother because they want a chance with you so somebody's sad because they did give y'all a chance and y'all played with them y'all emotionally played games with them they was offering you something long term this person was going above and beyond for you the whole time you was still connected with somebody from your past they want to know if that's over with they still want you they want to know if it's over with you know they don't want to come back in unless that's done completely here so this is what i'm seeing here this is what somebody wants to know about you here some of you guys here there is something that you some of you guys you recently bought something and you got it from like a really really low price or you got it for for a really good deal here and others are wondering if you got it because it's a type of pretty privilege so let me give you an example man or woman there is something that you bought and you got it for a half off other people like you sure that was half off like you got that for half off like no you didn't stop lying like they did not give you that for half off and whatever it is this is something that could be pretty expensive so they're like no no you didn't. some people could kind of wonder if the reason why you got money off of something was because of the way that you look here this is how people feel here we got the four of wands here for some of you guys we got the Knight of Pentacles here. We also got the Ace of Wands and the Devil card here. And the Ace of Pentacles here. And the Three of Pentacles in reverse here. People could feel like you got something and you only got it because of how you look. So if you recently bought something and you got money off of it and other people want whatever it is that you have, other people are, are wanting to know like, oh, well, did that person get that to them because of how they look? Maybe they wanted to talk to Paul too maybe they wanted the relationship with Powell too maybe that's why they gave it to us. somebody somebody does not believe something that you got from this price you got it for they feel like the reason you guys because of some type of pretty privilege or some type of deal here we got the ten of swords here somebody could feel betrayed or somebody could be talking about this here so some of you guys here somebody feels some type of way because you got something for less off like less money off and they can feel betrayed so somebody feels ganked like some of you guys I don't know who you are, what you got going on in your life, but somebody feels gay. Somebody, I don't know, somebody sold something to you and they sold it to another person you know, but they gave you half off. But somebody feels betrayed because somebody gave you something and you purchased it and you got it for 50% off and maybe they didn't and that's why this person feel betrayed now i'm not getting that they feel betrayed by you they're just kind of wondering like, okay did power to receive it because of pretty privilege the power to receive it because of handsome privilege because of the way they look is that why somebody gave it to them half off because they didn't do that for me the ace of cups I'm trying to tell y'all you some type of wish fulfillment somebody feels betrayed because you got some type of wish fulfillment and you got it for a way cheaper price than what they had to pay for it or what they had to come out of money for. So let's say you got something another person already had it. When you got it, you came out less money than what they did. And they're trying to figure out, is it because of your looks here? Yeah, we got the Eight of Pentacles here in reverse. Somebody can also feel like, um, order for them to get some type of wish fulfillment here, they have to save up for it. So I don't know y'all, but this is how somebody feels. There's a Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or um a, a, a Gemini here that feels some yeah with the three of cups here. They feel like they was taken advantage. So somebody could feel like they was taken advantage because you got something for less money than what they got it. And they kind of wonder, well, how come it's you? How come you got that for this price? They didn't give it to me for this price. So I don't know this for somebody specifically. Somebody trying to wonder, oh, did they like you? Is that why somebody gave it to you? So this is what I'm seeing here. So some of you guys here, there's somebody that likes you here, but they pretend not to like you here. And this is somebody that wants to know if you really like them back here. This is somebody where they want to know if you can catch on to them. Like somebody likes you in the moment that they think that you, like the moment they get an inkling that you think that they like you, they try to play it off. But somebody wants to know if you know that, if, if you know that they feel you or if you, if you know that they like you here. This is what somebody wants to know here. We got the cherry card. Right? This could be a cancer. It does not have to be. This could be somebody that you blocked for some of you guys. So somebody wants to, um, or this person could be blocking you from finding out that they like you here. 
with the Knight of Wands here for some of you guys, this could be somebody where this is like been like an ongoing thing here with this person. Um, so somebody wants to know if you know that they like you here. This could be Sagittarius here or the Two of Cups here. Somebody's blocked here. So somehow you could be in a relationship with the look at the cherry card in reverse here. That's the, something's blocked here. The blockage is a connection. So some of you guys, maybe you are in a connection and somebody wants to date you here, but they and they they want to know if you know that they want you. Like y'all are with somebody and somebody wants you. They want to know if you know they want you. With the page of cups, the person got a crush on you. They like you here. With the two of swords, so this is why they were all up in their head here because they don't know how you feel about them here. Uh, with the queen of swords, the birth person could be all up in their head due to gossip here as well. Let me get one more card here. We got the four of swords here. Next to the cherry card in reverse. So this is somebody where they was blocked mentally. So, so, so some of y'all, maybe you are not in the connection. So some of y'all, somebody wants a relationship with you. They have a crush on you. But this is somebody where they've been all up in their head because of some type of gossip here. So somebody likes y'all, but they pretend like they don't like you due to gossip. Like, they be listening to gossip from other people, and they all up in their head. They don't know how to feel about you because of what other people saying. But the person can't help but to, st but to still crush on you. They like you. They can want a connection with you here. But with the cherry card in the reverse and the four of the swords in the upward, this person is blocked from having a connection with you because they have, like, a lot of anxiety of how people are going to view them. They can have a lot of anxiety about people change the way people view them changing because they're connected with you here. Because when the Knight of Wands, some of you guys, somebody can make it seem like you're like a player or like you you do this. I'm here, um, I'm here, a, a Lyrica Anderson. I do this to everyone, uh, uh, uh. So don't take it personal. Don't take it personal. I do this to everyone, uh, uh, uh. Lyrica Anderson, um, don't take it personal. So this is somebody where they feel like you do this to everyone. Like you flirt with everyone, you smile on everybody's face. They shouldn't get so geeked up about it. With the Queen of Pentacles in reverse here, and that's the Knight of Wands here, people could even make it seem like you want somebody to take care of you or you want someone to, like, do for you. So, I don't know. Somebody kind of have, with the Death card here, somebody could have, like, the wrong, with the Knight of Cups in reverse here, somebody could be ending a situation before it even start based off an illusion here. So somebody decided not to talk to you or communicate with you based off an illusion from other people. But they want to know. So there's somebody around y'all where they, where you have an inkling that they like you or whatever, but they don't ever kind of full-blown show it. They kind of like try to keep it from expressing it or whatever. Or you and two people, y'all got chemistry with each other, but but this person never expressed that they liked you. It's because there's gossip going on around you here. And somebody likes you, they can't help but to like you, but they kind of worried about how people will view them if they were to date you here. But this is what other people want to know about you. This is how they feel. And so next time, bye, pal, too.